Hello everybody, and welcome back to Surviving Mars, here on the Wooden Otter. When last time we played this game, we had just ordered a shuttle full of colonists, and this time we're going to be settling them into our dome, and hopefully working on becoming a little more self-sufficient, food, mechanical parts, and electronics-wise. We'll see what happens on this episode of Surviving Mars. Alright, we're going to bring our people in. This is scary, but here we go. We're going to play it on normal speed now. Here comes a rocket. Ooh, I'm nervous. We need a berth as soon as possible. Because we need... We need to get some Martian borns real quick. We definitely need to build up the food... Because that's that was a hair-raising situation last time. All right, well, let's keep an eye on the comfort while we speed things up. Like, I want to build another win, but I, I don't want to incur the additional machine parts maintenance. How am I at zero already? Oh boy, people are going to start to starve got how many? I've got 7.2 in service buildings. I need additional people working here. Alright, now the wind power just crapped out on us. God, that takes a mechanical part too? Everything friggin' takes mechanical parts. Problematic Moxie. Oxygen production is vital for the colony, but the filter repair will take 24 hours. What should we do? We can wait for the repairs. We can, because we have plenty of oxygen stored up. Alright, there goes the rocket on an expedition. I really want more... Oh god. Cold wave. Water tanks, outside buildings that are not operational for more than a soul. Great. So water tanks won't work, but everything else will. That's that's actually fine. We should be okay. Once we produce some friggin' food. Resources are low. I know that. We have three polymers. What's our polymers maintenance? None. We should build a battery. I know it's not gonna work forever. But we could totally build a battery and then charge it up and use it. Ugh. And in 13 hours we're going to have a cold wave that's going to stink. We're going to need that battery. Man, average comfort is going through the floor. No functional residence, minus 20. You're still good. No functional residence. Man, no functional residence is bad. I'm still losing water. And that's because of this not having a machine part. And as soon as crops come in, we are juggling these people. Alright, here comes my rocket. Coming back down for a landing. What? What? Okay. All right. Minus. And then we'll do plus you there. Repair that guy. Yes. Fix your brethren stored in service buildings 4.2 so I have two days worth of food left I just need to build up a buffer of food so I can actually stink in dedicate some manpower to machine parts machine parts are going to be my downfall due to exceptional circumstances yeah great 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 and here comes cold wave oh boy not good. Not good. 
this thing needs power. I don't care if the other things don't have power, but this thing needs power. We need to have... Ooh, and we're discharging real fast. It's bad. Ugh, damn it. Come on, we're so close. She's 39. I don't even know if I can come back from a deficit of 39. Five souls, 16 hours? Good lord. God, this cold snap is going to last forever. Sanity. How insane are people getting? Freezing, dehydrated, it's too cold. Not great. Not great. Ooh, you're gonna go insane. Wonderful. Almost insane, almost insane, almost insane. Everybody's almost insane. But I could have a baby at any moment. I really, really, really need a mechanical part. Like, right now. God, I'm really just hurting for a mechanical part. That's all I want. You've produced half of one mechanical part. That's wonderful. Research. I need a whole one. Low G turbines. Great. Come on. I need that one female who wants children to crank one out. Do it for the team. Ooh, where are you going? Are you going to the thing? Oh, you are. Carrying it one half. You, if you don't fix this thing with one half, I'm going to lose it. Come on. Yes. Charging. Two females want children. That's awesome. Have some babies. Just need some babies. All right, here we go. Dome's back up and running. We got our wind turbines going. Power production is nuts. Still want that baby. Still looking for that baby. I'm not going to quit this friggin' episode until I have a baby. Three people want babies, for crying out loud. <sighs> four females want to have kids. Two guys can knock up four women. No problem. It happens all the time in rural America. Whoops, should I have not said that? Might that have been bad? really want somebody to just, uh, somebody had a mental breakdown. Just just Provide operational healthcare benefits in the dome and avoid heavy workload or nighttime work. Stressed out. Temporarily unable to work. So where did you work? Not there. Not there. Not there. Not there. Oh, you worked at the infirmary. That's that's great. Ooh. I had a kid. For the first time. Yes. Use has been born on Mars. Yes. A unique. Awesome. We've got a baby. Ray oxygen. <laughs> Ray oxygen. All right, that's awesome. A colonist has what? died. What? What? <sighs> he just offed himself. He just like is dead on the floor. Ah, <sighs> slow sanity. Great. Everyone's gonna have low sanity now. got zero sanity. <sighs> Great, everyone's gonna go insane and kill themselves. Wonderful. Just when I was starting to make some headway with population. Back down to 12 people, except one of them can't work because they're a baby. Let's check on everyone's sanity. Uh, Z, colonists, everyone, order by sanity, temporarily unable to work. 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 
zero. We have zero produced food. That's that's not great. Everybody's too stressed out to work. They're not thinking about how they're going to starve to death. We are in some serious trouble. All right, the cold wave ended. That should be good. No one's going to freeze anymore. All right, you're going to recharge, and then you're going to fix my stinking water. Go now. All right, water's working now. Freaking finally. I need you to grow up and get a job, kid. All right, there goes my last polymer. We have a food shortage. Shut up. We have a food shortage. Shut up. All right. How long until food? Like multiple souls, I bet, huh? Two souls. That's wonderful. People are gonna start starving to death before then. Twelve starving colonists. Please don't die. Like, I just got your sanity back. Ugh. You're starving to death. A colonist has died. God damn it! Ugh. Starving. <sighs> Wonderful. Which means everyone's gonna start freaking out. Because they're gonna be mourning the death of a colonist. This person's gonna starve to death. Yep. Yep. You're dead. Alright, well, unpin your butt from the bar. A colonist has died. Yep. That means you're dead, so unpin you from the bar. Jeez Louise. We are hemorrhaging people. What are the odds we can have another kid? Meteor incoming. You gotta be kidding me. Oh great! It's gonna hit our power supply. That's that's delightful. Hopefully it doesn't annihilate our we battery. Have a food shortage. Oh, I know. Great. Great! Buildings destroyed, too. Buildings not working. Starving colonists. Nobody's working here. Why? God, I really should end an episode here or there, but I'm just obsessed with getting this to work. We have a food shortage. Oh my god, shut up. We have a food shortage. Shut up. 47%. Three workers for 47%. That's terrible. Meanwhile, I'm running out of electronics. Nobody wants to have babies. God, this game is hard. Ugh. Boy, oh boy. Just constantly getting beat down in this game. Man, comfort is just falling apart. I I I can't I can't take this anymore. 